right, wrong, uh, uh, on point, off point, uh, we have a responsibility uh, to listen and to uh, address those concerns. And so that is precisely why I'm here and the others are here as well. Do you want to address any of the concerns that Van was raising regarding the writing of reports and? Well, I, I just remember Van on Market Street in about 10th or 11th uh, many, many years ago. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, w while I, uh, I have an officer here on the stage, um, let, me, let me pose this question to the entire panel, any or all of you. Um, is it possible that we're simply seeing more of a problem that's happening less frequently? Um, as I mentioned, I worked on a big project at the LA Times. We looked at 1,437 officer-involved shootings from 1985 through 2004. Um, I read every single report, as did my reporting partner, Matt Late. And we put them into three-ring binders. Um, in some years, they were well into the triple digits. Um, in some years, you needed two binders. There were a whole lot of police shootings in the late 80s and early 90s. There were a whole lot of dead black men, a whole lot of them unarmed. I don't recall any of them being caught on cell phone footage. Um, I don't know when cell phones really, you know, became so prevalent. But there's Rodney King, but, you know, I just, it wasn't really an issue in all of these reports that we're looking at. So I pose this question, not to diminish any of what's happening or any of the individual cases that are so sad and tragic, but is it possible that we're just seeing it more? I think we are. I, I believe that uh, when we start unfolding and unpacking what is going on, I think that we are seeing more. And I think that even for many of us that have spent an entire life in law enforcement, certainly adult life, uh, I think it's an eye-opening for many of us. I, I, I can tell you that I don't believe that all of a sudden we have a new generation of police officers who somehow have become more violent or less respectful of the law. Uh, I have to regret, regretfully say that a lot of the complaints that before I would look at them and we investigate them, and quite frankly, because it was the word of one person against another, uh, we basically determined that we had no, no resolution to the case. Um, I think that now we're seeing a, a very different uh, face to policing. And I say this, and I want to underline again, that I still continue to believe that the majority of the men and women in uniform work very hard under very difficult conditions, and they're doing the right things day in and day out.